Astro Joe's Astro Adventures. In today's adventure, I'm going to show you how to take your brand new EQ6R Pro and give it a little bit of a tune-up. I don't know if you noticed or not, but when mine came, it seemed a little stiff in the RA and in the declination. And when I would try to balance my gear, especially seeing how I have such a light setup, it seemed like I could move the counterweight a little in each direction. It wouldn't really matter. It couldn't really tell if it was balanced or not unless I moved it pretty far and in which case it was definitely out of balance. So there was a, a pretty big margin in which I couldn't really tell if it was balanced or not. Which, you know, that's not the end of the world, but if you can get it more precise, why wouldn't you, right? Especially by doing something as easy as this. It's only going to take about 15 minutes. It's going to take a pair of channel locks, a larger size pair of channel locks, and an Allen key set. You're going to need the 2 millimeter and the 2.5 millimeter in about 15 minutes of time. So let's go ahead and get started on this. And if you follow along step by step, you're going to have less strain on your motors, which will make them last longer. It's going to be a lot easier to balance your equipment, especially lighter equipment. And you might even see a slight improvement on tracking. So let's get started. All right, so now that your equipment's off, we're gonna go ahead and start with the declination. So go ahead and spin your mount around, if it's not already spinned around, and get the declination facing you. Right here you have that dial that holds the counterweight shaft up when you pull it up or have it down. Go ahead and just take that dial off. And I'll show you which one I'm talking about as soon as I get it off. Yeah, so go ahead and take that dial off, the thumb dial that holds the counterweight shaft up. Set that aside. Now you're gonna need your Allen keys. You're gonna take the 2.5 Allen key. And if you look right here on this housing that the counterweight shaft goes up in, there's three small grub screws that your Allen key, your 2.5, should fit perfectly. Go ahead and just back those out one to two turns. You're not taking anything all the way out. You're just going to back it up one to two turns. Now, if you get to a situation where the grub screw you're trying to get to is back behind the mount here. Just go ahead and loosen your clutch. Spin it a little bit. I mean, I guess that seems obvious, but just makes it easier. I don't want anybody struggling back there trying to get it out back there. So now that you have those loosened a little bit, one to two turns on each grub screw. There's three of them. Hold up here on top of the declination in the saddle and go ahead and twist that housing. And that whole housing should unscrew. If it doesn't, go ahead and back the Allen keys out just a little bit more, because you might not have them back off the shaft enough. All right, <clears throat> just make sure my third one's loose. All right, and if you notice, this thing would spin right off. If you kept twisting it, it'll twist right off there, that housing. We don't want to do that. We just want to back it out a little bit and then move it back to where it starts to tighten, but don't tighten it at all. And check and see how much better the play is in your declination. Now, if it's a lot, a lot looser, you have a lot better play in it, then you've done what you wanted to do. The only thing left to do is check and make sure you didn't introduce any play into the declination right here where the green collar is. I didn't, which it's kind of hard to do. You have to back it out quite a bit to do that. But I mean, we're only loosening this just a slight bit anyways. So you really shouldn't have to worry about that. Now, if it's already a hundred times better, you didn't introduce any play, just go ahead, tighten these three grub screws back down and we're going to move on to the right ascension. Just like that. All right, so I just got done tightening back down my three grub screws, and I'm gonna put the thumb dial back in the housing that holds the counterweight shaft up. All right, that 
that's back together and now we are done with the declination. So go ahead and spin the mount around and let's get started on the RA. Take your polar cap off. Now, you're going to notice that you can twist the polar scope counterclockwise and unscrew it from that housing. Should be pretty easy. Bam, there we go. Got the polar scope out. Set that off somewhere safe. You don't want that to get damaged. Now, if you look, there's two grub screws on the side of this housing here. There's one here and one on the other side, exact opposite. That's what holds this silver ring in here. So I'm going to get a little closer for you here. Go ahead, take your, I believe this is where we move down to the two. Yep. So go ahead and switch Allen keys down to the uh, two millimeter. And we're going to loosen those two grub screws. And if you have them loose enough, that metal ring should just come right out of there. Nice and simple. All right, now if you'll notice, there's this black knob right here. It's a black cylinder right underneath that silver ring when you take it off. And if you look on the sides of that black ring, there's gonna be four more grub screws. And again, we're not taking these grub screws out, we're just gonna back them out about one to two turns, all four. And you will notice that one of the grub screws is probably gonna be underneath this lip right here on the mount. You're gonna to have to do just like you did with the declination. And you're gonna to have to loosen the clutch and spin that to where you can get to all four screws. Now, if you're looking at it, you notice there's two screw holes in the front of this little cylinder right here as well. We're not touching those. There's actually, I don't think any screws in those. Uh, go ahead and just leave those alone and loosen the four that are in the side of it. Here, here, and here, and here. So that's gonna be the same one as well, the two millimeter. So one, that's two. I'm going to go ahead and spin this so I can get to the other ones easier. All right, that's three. And that's four. Now make sure you've loosened all four of them before you do this next part. Yep, all four of mine are loose. So go ahead and take your pair of channel locks or a strap wrench if you have one. And if you want to protect it from the teeth, you can put a cloth or something between the channel locks and the nut here. But you're just going to put it on that black dial, that black cylinder right there. You're going to hold up here and just give that a little turn. If you notice, if you turn it left counterclockwise it should unthread. Now we're not going to unthread it. We're just going to turn it, you know, a slight bit, turn it till it's a little bit loose and then ease it back until it hits that point where it wants to start to tighten and go ahead and check, make sure it did what it was supposed to do. And I can already tell, man, that is a world of difference. Yeah, it was so much tighter than that when I got it. Now, Man, that's going to be so much easier to balance when I'm setting up and getting ready to pull it line. All right, so now that I do have the mount loosened right to where I want it, and I made sure I didn't introduce any play in between here, well, just tighten down the four screws, put the silver ring back on, tighten those two screws on the side, and put your polar scope back in. I'll go ahead and do that on camera now. Let's see. 
again, this is something that only takes, I mean, very little time, a uh, very little amount of time. It can be done easily in 20 minutes for somebody who has no experience doing something like this. All right, just rotate that a little bit. Make it easier to get to the other screws, the other Allen screws. All right, that one's tight. And remember when you're tightening these Allen screws, try not to over tighten them. You don't want them to get stuck in there or make it impossible to get it out. But just check and make sure you've tightened down all four of them. All right, so all four of mine are now tight. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that silver ring now. And I'm gonna place that back in. And if you look, there's a circle with a little arrow where you can easily line that up with the handle. And if you look, there's little divots in the side where the Allen keys were pressed up against it before, and that'll help you better align it with the holes. All right, perfect. All right, both of those are tightened back up. Now I'm gonna take my polar scope. I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in there. And stick the cap back on. It was as simple as that. Now we're done and it should be a whole lot easier to balance your equipment on your mount you're gonna have less strain on these motors, which is gonna make them last longer. And on top of that, you might see a slight improvement in tracking. So now I'm gonna put my equipment back on and show you how much easier it is to balance your mount once you've done this tune up. All right, so already I can definitely tell that there is a huge improvement to the way my mount balances. If it's even slightly off, it's already dropping down. So now, if I move it just a little bit, it makes a bigger difference, which is what we wanted. We wanted to make it more precise, and we've definitely done that. See, now I've gone a little bit too far, and I barely moved it. So, oh, a little bit too far, which that's what we were setting out to do. We we're setting out to make our balancing a little bit more precise, and we've certainly done that here. Now, I know I'm balanced when I'm out in the field. I know I'm gonna get a much better tracking experience with my mount, so, and that's what we set out to do. If you like the video, leave it a like. If you'd like to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I'll be releasing more content like this. Content that just sort of helps beginners not make a lot of the same mistakes I did or how to navigate those mistakes once they've made them and how to correct it, so. Go ahead and comment in the comment box. Let me know if you tried this, if it worked for you. I really wanna hear about it. Or if you just wanna say hi, uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you guys so much. I've been Astro Joe, and this is Astro Adventures. Have a good one out there. Clear skies.